Okay, so let's answer these exercises that we have on page 132. Let's start from exercise number 14. It says draw the Lewis structures. Although most of these structures we have drawn in the previous videos that I have shared with you in the group. So here, just for answering the question, I repeated that one very fast. So the first one is HF. Drawing the Lewis structure for HF. You know that the first step for the drawing Lewis structure is to calculate total valence electron. Hydrogen is in group 1, so it has 1 valence electron. Fluorine in group 17, it has 7 valence electron. So the total valence electron is 8 for this molecule. We have just 2 atoms, so we put a single bond between these 2 atoms and then we make all of the atoms except the hydrogen octet for the fluorine. We have to add three lone pairs to make it octet. Now, if you count the electrons in this molecule, two, four, six, eight, same as the total valence electron. So this is the correct Lewis structure for HF. Let's go to the next molecule, CF3Cl. So we want to draw the Lewis structure for CF3Cl. Let's calculate total valence electron for that. You have carbon in group 14, four valence electrons, three fullerenes, each one of them has seven valence electron plus chlorine, which is in group 17 as well. So we have seven valence electron for a chlorine. So the total valence electron in this molecule is 28 electrons. So we have three atoms here, carbon, fluorine, chlorine. So the atom which has least electronegativity come to the center. In this case, the carbon. We draw the rest of the atom around it and we connect them to the central atom by a single bond. And you know, <clears throat> let's make them octet. The carbon is already octet, it has eight bonds. In each bond, you have two electrons. So let's make the fullerenes octet by giving three lone pairs to them. Okay, now all of the atoms are octet, and if you count the electrons in this molecule, it's 32, so this is the correct Lewis structure for this molecule. Let's move on and go to the next molecule. The next molecule is C2H6. I draw C2H6, C2H2, and C2, uh, C2H4, C2H2, then I will come back to PCL3. So let's start with C2H6. Okay, Lewis structure for C2H6. C2H6 is alkane with two carbons. Alkane with two carbon is a thing. You have A and E at the end. So let's draw or let's find its total valence electron. You have two carbons. Each one of them has four valence electron and six hydrogens. So the total valence electrons here is 14 electrons. Here you have two carbons, so both of them come to the center and we connect them by a single bond. Then we have six hydrogens. So each carbon receives three hydrogens. So I put three hydrogens for the carbon at the right and three hydrogens for the carbon at the left side. If you count the electron in this molecule, so look at the carbon at the left, two, four, six, eight. It's already octet carbon at the right two, four, six, eight, and it's already octet. So both of the atoms are octet, so we don't need to add any lone pair to that. No, let's count the electrons that we have here in this molecule. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 electrons in this molecule. So this is the correct Lewis structure for ethane. The next molecule, is C2H4. C2H4 is alkene. This one is ethene, E-N-E. -E. If you remember from the last year in the organic chemistry, we have talked about the alkene, alkene, and alkyne. Total valence electron for this molecule, you have two carbons, so two times four, and four hydrogen. So total valence electron is 12 electrons. We do the same procedure as we did. We have two carbons, we connect them, 
you have four hydrogens so each carbon receives one hydrogen now look at the carbons they have only six electrons one two sorry two four six so it needs one lone pair the carbon at the right side two four six it needs one lone pair but now if you count the electrons you have 14 e electrons two extra electrons so in this case as you know you have to cancel a lone pair and bring a lone pair from the adjacent atom between them so the correct Lewis structure for this molecule is C double bond C and each one of them has one hydrogen and there are no lone pair on the carbons so in the exam you have to draw this structure they won't look at this one the next molecule is C2H2 CH2 <coughs> C2H2 is alkyne so this one is ethyne total valence electron for ethyne you have two carbons each one of them four valence electron and you have two hydrogens so the total valence electron in this molecule is 10 electrons you have two carbons we connect them single one two hydrogens so each carbon receives one hydrogen Okay. now we have to make the carbons octet carbon which is at the left it's one it's two four six eight carbon on the right two four six eight if you count the electrons in this molecule there are 13 electrons so we need to cancel two lone pairs and bring two lone pairs from the adjacent atom between them so the molecule would be h single bond carbon triple bond carbon hydrogen now let's go to the next molecule that we had it's pcl3 so the molecule of pcl3 yeah here we had the pcl3 total valence electron phosphorus is in group 15 it has five valence electron plus three chlorines each one of them has seven valence electrons so total valence electron is 26 electrons we have phosphorus at the center because it's less it has less electronegativity than chlorine and we connect it to three chlorine atom we have to make them octet the phosphorus has two four six you know eight and each chlorine needs three lone pair to become octet And when you count the electrons which are in this structure, you can see it's 26. So this is the correct Lewis structure for this molecule. Okay, let's go to the next question. It says, how many valence electrons are in the following molecule? Okay, this is a very easy question. So we can easily understand how many valence electrons are there. B is Cl2. You need to look at the periodic table, beryllium and chlorine. Okay, in the periodic table here, beryllium is here in group 2, so it has 2 valence electrons. As you know, chlorine is in group 17, it has 7 valence electrons. So the total valence electron that we have here for this one, beryllium is 2 plus 2 times 7 for the chlorines. So totally we have 16 electrons. Let's go to the next molecule, BCl3, boron go to the periodic table boron is here in group 13 so it has three valence electron so you have boron which has three valence electron and three chlorines with each one of them has seven valence electrons so the total valence electron is 24. the next one is ccl4 carbon has four valence electron and you have four chlorine each one of them has seven valence electron so totally you have 32 valence electrons for ph3 phosphorus is in group 15 look at the periodic table phosphorus is here so it has five valence electrons so five valence electrons for phosphorus you have three hydrogens each one of them has one valence electron so totally you have eight valence electrons ncl3 nitrogen in group 15 so it has five valence electron plus three chlorines which each one of them has seven valence electrons so totally you have 
26 valence electron here. Let's move on to the next question, question number 16. It says, use Lewis structures to show the formation of the coordinate bond between H2O and H+. Okay, so let's draw the Lewis structure for H2O and H+. We have drawn their Lewis structure, so you know how to draw that one. For H2O, okay, total valence electron for that, two hydrogens, each one of them is one. Oxygen is group 16, so it has six valence electrons. So total valence electron in this molecule is eight. So if we put oxygen, hydrogen, hydrogen, no, we have to make the oxygen octet. We put two lone pairs on the oxygen, so it becomes octet, and it the structure got eight electrons, so it is correct. But about the H plus, hydrogen has one valence electron, but the H plus it has lost the electron, so there is nothing in the one s orbital of the hydrogen. So the one s orbital of the hydrogen is free. So in this case the molecule which has lone pair can give the lone pair from one side to the other atom so what is the result the result is the h o h and these lone pairs is no shared with the hydrogen and all molecules becomes positive so this bond that we have here is coordinate bond if you want to emphasize that these electrons only brought from oxygen so shared from one side we can show it by the arrow so it means the lone pair of the oxygen is shared between the oxygen and hydrogen and the hydrogen has not brought anything for sharing let's move on to the next question so draw the Lewis structures of the following molecule. NO3, we have drawn that one. So let's draw it for NO+. Let's draw the Lewis structure for NO+. Total valence electron, always you have to calculate total valence electron for the Lewis structure. Nitrogen has five valence electrons, oxygen six. And because it is positive, it means the whole structure has lost one electron. So the total valence electron here is 10 electrons. You have only two atoms here in this ion. Nitrogen connects to oxygen. And we have to make all of them octet. So we make both of them acted by giving the lone pair to there. And now you can see, let's uh, find the, how many electrons are there. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So we have 14, ex uh, four extra electron. So in this case, we need to cancel two lone pair on one of the atoms because we have only two atoms here. We bring two lone pairs from the other one here. So how it would be? It would be nitrogen, triple bond, oxygen. And only one lone pair remains for the oxygen. One lone pair remains for the nitrogen. Okay, here also, although it's not mentioned in the question, but we have a, a coordinate bond here as well. So look, the <coughs> oxygen has six valence electron. It needs to share two electron to become octet, okay? This is one electron, this is the second electron. So it means this one, so if it shares two electron, four electrons remains for itself. But in this list structure, you can see there is only two electrons. So it means the other two electrons are shared from one side with the nitrogen. Well, this is the correct uh, correct Lewis structure. Okay, let's move on to the next questions. NO2 again, we have drawn this one. Let's draw the O3. I think we have drawn the O3 molecule as well. So let's escape it, go to N2H4. Let's draw the Lewis structure for N2H4. N2H4. Okay, total valence electron for this molecule, you have two nitrogens, so 
2 times 5 because each nitrogen has 5 valence electron 4 hydrogens each one of them has one valence electron so the total valence electron in this structure is 14 electrons we have two nitrogens so we put two nitrogens with a single bond between them and you have four hydrogen so we give two hydrogens to each nitrogen now we have to make the nitrogen's octet so we need one lone pair here and these nitrogen also needs one lone pair now all of the atoms becomes octet the hydrogen they got two electrons so they become like the novel gas helium and the total electron here in this structure 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 same as the total valence electron that we have so this is the correct Lewis structure for this molecule okay so we have done with these exercises and I hope that you got the answer correctly now in the next video we will talk about the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory which i have explained to you in the videos which i have shared with you so now in the next video i just answer the questions on page which page is that yeah on here on page 136 so try to do these exercises it says predict the shape and bond angle of the following molecules predict the shape and bond angle of foreign molecules question number 18 question number 20 and question number 20 says how many electron domains are there around the central atom in the molecules that have the following shapes like especially the question number 18 and 19 draw their lewis structure based on their lewis structure find what are the domains for that so after you found the domain say what is the electronic geometry and what is the molecular geometry which means shape and what is the bond angle okay in the next video i will answer these questions and you can check your answer to see if you have understood these lessons very well or not because this is very important at least you have one question either in paper two or paper one from these part of the textbook from the Lewis structure, from the total valence electron, and from the shape and geometry of the molecule and bond angles. So this is very important topic.